Hey, my name is McKinley. You spoke to Emily today. I just wanted to get this short video over to you showing you how you can outrank your competition online and get more leads and more customers. You, starting out, you have a really sleek site. I like it, but um, you don't have a whole lot of content I can see scrolling down. And Google likes to see between 1,500 and 2,000 words of content on your homepage. They actually read all the words on your site, and that's how they determine what topics you're relevant to and therefore what to rank you for. You can get your keywords in there as well, and keywords are just the phrases that people are typing into the Google search bar most frequently. So I wanted to show you this right here. This is called the Google Map Pack, or GMB. It's the first thing anyone sees when they search for something online. Almost no one ever clicks on View All, so it's really important to be in this top three right here, and you can do that by having more good reviews than any of your competition, and by having more citations than them as well. A citation is anytime your business's name, address, and phone number are listed on the web. So I plugged your site into a tool I use called Arifs. It gives me a better idea of the back end of your site. So you can see right here, you have eight pages referring back to you and 169 backlinks overall, which is a pretty good start. I can tell you have uh, worked on SEO in the past. Um, but a backlink, just uh, as a refresher, is anytime there's a link on another site, and when people click on it, it takes them to your site. You do want to have as many as possible. However, not all backlinks are created equal, and it's really important to have high-quality ones that are viewed as trusted by Google so that they'll view you as trustworthy. And if you're considered relevant to what you do through your content and your keywords, and then considered trustworthy in addition to that, Google is going to see that you bring value to the people that are looking for what you do. And if they think you're valuable, they're going to want to put you in front of as many people as possible. And that's the goal. So you can see right here, you're getting about six clicks of traffic to your site every month. And you're in the top 100 pages of Google for eight keywords. So if we take a look at those and organize them by your position on the page. So you can see you're in the first page for this word which gets 50 searches a month, and that is bringing you some traffic. And you're also in the third and fourth pages for this word and this word. This one has a lot of search volume, and it's bringing you some traffic as well. But what we would want to focus on is getting you ranked in the first position for the higher volume words like this one, which gets 100 searches a month, and auto detailing this location, which gets 70 searches a month, and we would want to get you in the first position for those because almost all the time, if you're in the first position, you are going to get one third of the total searches as traffic to your site. Let me show you what that would look like. So this is the number one organically ranked competition for your area for what you do. And you can see that he, he originally doesn't have a whole lot of content. This is only about 330 words, but this bumps it up to like 1700 all of these comments so he is within the parameters of google but these comments aren't going to qualify as quality content so if you were to get real content with keywords and hit about 2000 words you would blow him out of the water content wise which would be a really easy step to start trying to outrank him with so i plugged him into the same tool as well and you can see right here he has 27 pages referring back to him and 80 backlinks overall. So you are beating him with your amount of backlinks, but let me double check. Yes, they have more uh, referring domains than you. And that's because like, if you have 100 backlinks coming from one page, that looks um, like more spammy to Google than anything. So it is important to have a good ratio of like referring pages and backlinks. You don't want to have too many coming from any one page, but we can find where you're getting a whole bunch of links from one area, like one page, and we can disavow those so Google doesn't associate them with you anymore. But that's the only reason because you do have more backlinks, but they have a lot more referring domains. And so they have a closer ratio right here. But Another thing we could do is go into their high quality links and replicate those for you, in addition to getting even more high quality links that they don't have. So you can see they are in the top 100 pages of Google for 149 keywords. And if we take a look at those, you can see that they are in the first position for these higher volume words. And being in that first position, that's bringing him 84 clicks of traffic out of this 250, so pretty much exactly a third. 
He's getting 45 from this 100, so that's almost half. 27 from this 70, that's over a third. But then down here, being in even the second position, he's only getting 20% of this, this total volume as traffic. Being in the third position, he's only getting 10% of this one. So it's really important to be in that first position. And overall, being ranked for all those words, he's getting 291 clicks of traffic to his site every single month. And a couple of those words were his name, so it wouldn't be possible to rank for all of them. But even if we only ranked for half of them, which we can do more than that, but I, I'd say we outranked him for every word that isn't his own name. But even if it was just half, 150 clicks of traffic to your site every single month? What would that do for you and your business? So on that note, I will leave you. Once again, my name is McKinley. This is my phone number and my email. Feel free to contact me at any time. I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Go over your vision for the future for your business, and I will be in touch with you as well. Thank you. Have a good day.